And Michigan State looking for the yep. upset here, up nine to three. And this is a matchup where if you're Nebraska, you want some bonus points here. You got number six, Mikey Labriola, take it on number 23, Lane Malcheski. Malcheski on the year, 18 and eight, six and two in the Big 10. All for Labriola, 13 and five, one and two in the Big 10. Labriola returning All-American for the Huskers. They're, this is almost a must have match here for Nebraska and they are going to want some bonus points here as well. But uh, Malcheski um, having a great year. Yeah. He's 18 and eight on the season, with just a red shirt freshman. It'll be interesting to see Labriola's match here today, considering he's coming off kind of a uh, deflating loss against Mark Hall on Friday, where he was pinned in the third period in a match that you didn't think it was really going to go that way. It was kind of a There's last second two for Labriola. No, you really. Last season, Labriola and Hall was a pretty close match, and, and maybe people weren't expecting that. Uh, flipped the script a little bit this year. I think everyone on Friday night when Nebraska duel Penn State was expecting a close one between the two, and, and Hall really controlled that one. So we're going to see how Labriola bounces back here. He's already got the first takedown. Looking for more. Two to one, Labriola leads. Kind of a tough schedule, last few matches for him. Had to face number two, Michael Kemmerer of Iowa. Last Saturday, lost that one three to one. Of course, then got pinned by Mark Hall on Friday. Now it's to take on number 23, Elaine Malcheski. No breaks in the Big Ten. And that is what makes it the best wrestling conference in the country. And Labriola, from Labriola. trying to get two points. He is going to get it. Makes it four to one. He tried the high flyer there, and he wasn't too far off of, of getting that there. Four to one. Looks like Labriola may be content to try and ride this period out. Nope, he's going to let him go and try and get one more. Four to two. Escape Malcheski. 48 seconds to go, opening period. 32 seconds of riding time for Labriola. Labriola from Eastern Pennsylvania. Went to Bethlehem Catholic, known for turning out high quality college wrestlers. One of the premier wrestling high schools in the in the country, really, mm -hmm. and uh, Labriola is maybe about as big of a recruit as the Huskers have gotten yeah. in recent years. He was ranked fifth nationally in the flow wrestling class of 2017, uh, top ranked 170 pounder in the nation coming out of high school. Here. And the Husker Husker bench is wanting a stall call here. We've seen a lot of offense from Labriola. Five seconds to go. And now do it for the first period here between Malchetsky and Labriola. And it's the sophomore from Eastern Pennsylvania with the 4-2 lead. Highlighted by one of the two takedowns he's had this period. That was a great takedown there. And you got to credit Malchetsky. He really went for that, that throw. Malchetsky ranked number 23. Labriola number 6. So another ranked matchup here. And Labriola, so far this year, second at the Journeyman Collegiate Classic and, and third at the Cliff King the Invite. Huskers, Cooper Childs. Versus ranked opponents, he's two and five on the year. Including wins over number 14, Caleb Romero of Ohio State and number 14, Hayden Hastings of Wyoming. And aside from his loss to Mark Hall on Friday, Labriola has been Oh, looking for the cradle here. He's got, He's got, got one locked up. up. He'll be looking for the fall here. Gets him on his back. He's going to get some near fall. Looking for the pin. Probably got it in to, tight. Probably need to readjust a little bit here to get the fall. And they're looking to answer back with a pin of their own as Nebraska and Malcheski is able to get back on his knees. They'll wait, to, they'll wait to award the four points for the near fall here until Labriola breaks his lock. Over a minute of riding time now. Six to three to score, and Labriola finally lets it go. Four near fall for the sophomore. It's 10 to four now, 48 seconds to go. That was a big exchange there for Labriola. He's now in pretty good position to get bonus points. Another takedown will give him that major decision lead.
And Melcheski's got a single leg here. Labriola though grabs an ankle. 20 seconds to go. It's close to a takedown for Melcheski. Really oh, yeah. good hips there from Labriola. And Labriola, turns Labriola it into two, gets two, two more points. With perhaps more near fall. Makes it 12 to four. 10 seconds to go, second period. Boy, just when it looked like Malcheski was going to get two there, Labriola got his hips squared away and turned that into two for himself. That was pretty, pretty solid wrestling right there from Labriola. And he's going to take a 12 to four lead. Into the third. 12 to four. The score here, and here is the cradle by Mikey Labriola to get four near fall points on Lane Malcheski to take control of this match. It's 12 to four. Labriola with a minute 29 of riding time. And in dual meets like this, you, you know, you have to credit Malcheski for fighting off of his back there, um, you know, avoiding the pin, and, and um, you know, we'll see if that results in a valuable team point or two for Michigan State. Labriola is going to choose neutral here to start the third period. He has controlled this match from his feet. Four takedowns already. Looking to get Nebraska some bonus points here. Labriola again. Going back Going to, to that cradle. Head. He's close to the cradle again. Let's go to LA. Going to get two points instead. It's 14 to four. Men have to go, third period. Labriola is just going to let him go. Makes it 14 5. Escape, Trying to put the hurt on. Aaron Lane Malcheski gets a single shot leg. There. In deep on the high C. Down to a single. He may have to go stalemate here. Yep. yep. Stalemate call him. Going to reset in the middle. Minute two to go. 14 to 5. Labriola again was so close to another cradle, but instead just gets the takedown to extend his lead. Inside of a minute to go. Labriola close to locking up that riding time point as well. And there's a stall warning there on Malcheski. He hasn't done much offensively Great in this shot match. Attempt. Duck and under there for another Labriola. takedown for There's Labriola. Two. 16 to 5. 32 seconds to go. And boy, that was an excellent duck under there from Labriola. Let's him go again. 16 6. In all likelihood, need a takedown and some near fall here to secure the technical fall. Look, it's looking like a major decision win for Labriola. Eight seconds to go. 16-6, Labriola again. Looking for two more, he's not gonna get it, but it's a 16-6 win nonetheless for Mikey Labriola. And Nebraska now cuts the lead. Only 2-2, it's nine to seven.